International Broadcast Partners with more Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. If Spain were a BG song in the late 70s, they'd be staying alive. And they've done it the hard way, winning both games today. I need to win three more to get to the title. Here's Muradek Krami. It's left arm spin. And this first one chopped away for a single by Floyd. Now, Ekrami's the kind of bowler. He's really effective in the power play. And there's a bit of a running theme. And Ekrami bowls a full toss here. And he's going to go for four. And this was a theme of his bowling yesterday. It was very unusual for him to lose his length. But he bowled a lot of full tosses. Goes over the top. But does he get there? Well, what a catch. What an unbelievable catch this is. And it's Sherry Butt who removes the dangerous Floyd. And this one, it was always curving away from him, Corey. That's what makes it such a great catch. And we know the emphasis on fielding. It's so important in any form of the game, but particularly to be able to get a big wicket of Floyd like that. Oh, to Musa Ahmed. Yeah, and that looks like it could be another. This is Sherry Butts getting under it. He sets himself and it is another wicket. Well, Netherlands 11 there in a lot of trouble here. Fahim Buddy gets a wicket first ball. It's another big wheel to Musa Ahmed. He didn't get anywhere near the middle of the bet, Vinny, and two big wickets early. Oh, the loser will be after this one. Musa Ahmed goes for five. Defending your title. As Gawley goes, bang, and this isn't any backwards action. This is a standard delivered job. This one's right off the middle. Maximo! The first one of the innings for the Netherlands 11. Steps across, but this one's higher than it is long, and it's a difficult catch. The sun's a factor, but he almost takes it. Well, that is Sheikh Shiraz, the captain, and he... Could be a big moment in this game as Lovers then collects the next ball for six. That's a bit better, and uh, a big six after being dropped always demoralises the bowling team. Right here is Bati. Another in-swing it. And, oh, we've got trouble here. Could be a lot of trouble, and I think it's going to be all over. So it's a big mix-up that we'll see. Lovers have to go. I had a pair of 11s out there. Legs 11, but only one pair of legs was running. I mean, the Belgians do it very well. And well, that's how you do it. There's <laughs> Sebastian. But well, watch out up there, guys. Manos arriba, umpire. That is Cis Carreras. A little bit short. This is up. It's up. And it's not coming down for a long time. Maximo! Netherlands 11 past 50. And the next one's pitched up. And he's going to get it all the way. Maximo back to back. Gawley rolls the dice. And it comes up double sixes. And this one is very high, and it is catchable, but good luck. It's coming out of the clouds, and it's taken. Mani Mohamed, well, he keeps his cool. He's a very good young player, I think, Corey. And he had an eternity. Well, he almost grew his first beard as that one came down from the sky. But Mani holds on, and they get the dangerous goalie as the fourth wicket. 58 for four. Well, this one's too short, and watch out at the bar, because this one's going to order a round of drinks. That's out of here. Maximo! He's shaping the charge, but doesn't. It's a fake charge, but the six is real. Maximo. And this is the problem. A bit of an overcompensation from Aziz Muhammad. This one smashed into the fence. Recline once more, but has he got it? Well, he has not. And Mani Muhammad takes a very good catch. So six, six and out. That's a big wicket because Klein, he's very dangerous. And he has to go back with still three plus overs on the table. The ECC. He's Khalid Amadzai. See ya. Well, unless there's bad on this, which no, I don't think there was. Well, I don't like umpiring from the commentary box, but if there's no bad on this, this was dead set plum. So Amadzai gets it full, gets it fairly straight, and Brutt, he's got to go LBW for 12. Another wicket to start an over, 73 for 6. I want the money to do it at the moment. It's edged and taken. So this is a great wicket as well as Dutt tries to drive through the offside. And you can see that one was well held behind the stunts by Ali Raza. This was climbing. It's not as easy a catch as you think, but you would expect your keeper to take it. So that'll be all the sevens. The slot machine now, 77 for seven. Oh. This one I think is a little bit about. Could be trouble. Well, it would have been trouble. This one, he hits out towards David Wicket. Oh, almost a fantastic catch. It was a good attempt by Akrami. He's taken some good diving catches in this tournament. Ten balls remain in this innings. As this one's pushed away, and the placement is perfect. The timing is even better, and there's four more to Aylenbus. 
Oh, out. How about this? Aziz Mohammed. well, he's on one leg, but that one hand is working pretty well. He just ambles in. This one, not quite time from Aylan Bass. Oh, what a catch that is. A one-hand screamer. What well, all happens in the night, that is all happening. And Netherlands 11, they're running out of resources. It's 85 for eight now. Oh, what a catch. This is a really, really good catch. And Alphonse, well, he does a fall down, kind of leg glance is what I'd call it, and straight off the face of the bat, and his acrobatic work from Ali Raza. Just watch him anticipate this. Over to you, Viv. That's pretty good Yorker, though. Digs it out. They'll get two here. I'm sure they will. They took up straight away. Oh, they won't now, because Kingma, he's had some issues with the footing. And... Uh, He'll be run out, and so Netherlands 11 will be bowled out of the very last ball, but they do get the one run that they did complete, and the score will be 93. Just have a look here. I mean, I thought they were going to make it because obviously it's the last ball. Both Matsum just start sprinting straight away, and because he didn't hit it very hard, there was no infield up. But have a look at Kingma. You see that he has to navigate, and then as he turns, just, just on the turn, he loses his footing, and so he's run out comfortably, but still, they do get the one. So Netherlands are going to finish 93, their completed score. Six in, edge, and gone. And what a start that is for the Netherlands. And can you believe it, Corey? And Mani Mohamed, well, he is filthy with himself, but it's just a length ball. It's the extra pace and bounce, I think, of King Mark that does Mani Mohamed. And the perfect start for the Netherlands 11. Exactly what you said there, the extra pace. Vivian King Mark, the quickest bowler in this competition. Short, and he doesn't get this at all, but he'll get enough of it. It's one bounce four. So the first thing goes right for Belgium. This one, yeah, completely mistimed, but Aziz Mohammed gets lucky, gets over the man in the circle. Pitches up, and he gets this one over the top as well. So Klein was in the game again. That was horribly mistimed. Oh, he cracks this one over cover. He stands and delivers. It's a counter-attack, and this is the contest we wanted to see. And Belgium, well, they're hunting that double chance. It goes into the gap, and this one will take some catching as well. And it's a desperate attempt from the fieldsman, Sebastian Bratt, but unfortunately he can't pull this one back either. Another boundary to Belgium. This one up and away, but he hasn't quite got it sliced away. She's hanging up a long time. And it ends, it ends up falling safely. A slow ball from Kingma, but it's edged away. And is it taken? Well, well, they're saying it's out and Let's have a look at what the umpires think. And, uh, well, he was running out of real estate. That will be the question. Well, really close, Vinny. Uh, really close from the commentary box. 50-50 call here. The fielders are confident, though. He's got it. Yeah, brilliant work. I think that's out. I mean, that's Victor Lubbers out there. Catches the ball yeah. beautifully. Isn't fine. He hasn't touched it yet. One. That foot's inside. Two. That foot's inside. Up it goes. Yep, that's brilliant work. Really great work. Second time in two days we've seen that kind of work from the Netherlands. And so Ali Raza, highly explosive batsman, is removed. And it's a bit of brilliance that does it from the Netherlands. That's the kind of stuff they're going to have to do if they're going to pull this off and skewer the double chance. Oh, he's going to get four here. And this is the pace that keep my working against him. There's no third man. Why? But he stays over. Does go full and wide. And that's a great stop. I mean, it wouldn't have been a catch anyway, but Dutt essentially saves three runs for his team. So it's Clayton Floyd. This first one is not a bad ball, but I'll tell you where it goes. A long way out of here. This is a ticket on the pain train. Maximo. And so he goes this time. This one should be out. Shariz Ahmed holds on to the catch. So it's six and out for Sherry Butt, and this game takes another twist as Floyd... We went for a Maximo, didn't he? But he had the answers in the end, and he removes a dangerous hitter. Jerry Butt's got to go for only 11. An interesting set of clashes tonight. Here is the captain, Sebastian Brat, who bowls length, and this one is nailed over the deep mid-wicket fence. What a pull stroke that is. And Aziz Mohammed, well, he eats length for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Pace on, and more pace on from Aziz Mohammed. Well, watch out in the kids' zone. Hand out the emergency helmets, Corey, because they're in the danger zone at the moment. And so Bratt tests him out. Steps across, wants to go again. This is into the gap. So will take some stopping, and it won't be stopped. So 6-6-4, six, six, a sweet 16 off the first half. 
Oh, it gets full toss. This is called no ball. And even worse, it's going to go the journey. And uh, Maximo. Mohamed moves into the 40s. And this is really a worst-case scenario. And we might, because this one could be the biggest of the lot. And you can forget it. I hope this ball doesn't have a family because it's not coming home. And Belgium, this over has broken the back, you'd have to say, of Netherlands 11 as it goes supersonic. And 50 for Aziz Mohamed in only 13 deliveries. This one sliced away. And could be caught. It is. That's an excellent catch by Klein, the man, the man that you just mentioned. And it was just... A clever kind of delivery, what we were talking about early in the over, he lures you into this shot, but it's hard to get across there, especially if you're not really moving your feet. You, you throw your hands at it. It was sliced away, so Trek Shiraz can't get anything going in this innings. He falls for one of seven. He steps down the ground, and he's going to be gone. So this is what they needed. They needed something to go their way, and particularly they needed the wicket of Aziz Muhammad, and he goes down the ground, but he doesn't get enough of it. The catch is taken, and a crucial wicket. That's one piece of the puzzle for the Netherlands. Oh, this is a really good shot. And it's going to go all the way. Maximo! This is what makes the kill so dangerous. He times the ball so well, and he has these wrists that just seem to be able to snap through the ball at the crucial moment, and that takes him six. Oh, this hit so well, and this one is going to take them closer to the target. Uh, it's party time now for Belgium. Haven't they had some great matches last game of the day? This one is cracked over. Defending only two runs now. And this will do it. And save as the kill does it. And uh, Belgium, they secure the double chance. They faltered against the England 11 earlier in the day. But the Belgians know they can beat anyone when they are playing well. And Zakil, well, back in the lineup. And he makes a big difference as well. He provides the knockout blow. He finishes 21 off 9. And Belgium, they get there. Corey with 11 balls to spare.